guys, I'm Tyler. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're reviewing my soft topper. Let's get started. Now this is the soft topper. This is the name brand soft topper out of Boulder. There's a best stop that makes the same product. I went with the name brand. I like the price, I like the quality. This is, this is a real authentic soft topper. For me personally, having worked on trucks uh, before, the soft topper was really easy to install. There are some good install videos about how to do it, so I won't bore you with the details. But really, it's a foolproof system between these mounts, um, this little strap system, and getting the buttons all undone. Um, especially once you get uh, the soft topper on, you button it down the first time, these panels kind of ease up and you'll find that the buttons get easier and easier uh, to undo and redo. But that first time stretching the canvas over it, it is a little bit tight. And you really have to use these straps right here to yank it down and get this bar down. But really, you know, install maybe took me an hour, hour and a half. Uh, just going by the instructions, pretty simple. And soft topper leaves it pretty flexible so that you can do, um, you can install a couple different ways on some of the details, like how you have it attached or don't attach to the tailgate, leave the back end free on that back window. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Now, I would say soft topper, you should really go after one for one of two reasons, either price or flexibility. Either this really fits your price range compared to a hard shell, or you need the flexibility that something like a soft topper gives. I went with it for a combination of both. Uh, at least for my price range, the soft topper made a lot more sense even compared to used hard tops. Um, I had a tough time finding a really good deal on a used hard top, and I do need the flexibility. Sometimes with my truck, you know, I'm helping people move couches or kind of odd items and I liked being able to know that I didn't have to find somewhere to store my hard shell in the event I need to take it off. I can just fold the soft topper forward and I won't have any issues trying to find a place to store it if I need to take it all the way off because it stores much more compactly uh, than a hard top and I can do it all by myself. Tearing it down, folding it forward, all of that I can do by myself. I don't need any help. It's not super heavy. I would not recommend the soft topper if security is a real issue for you. If you keep a lot of valuable things in your truck bed and you feel like you really can't leave them uh, where people can see them and access them, soft topper, you're gonna be paranoid about that. Now I have some solutions for that. Obviously, you know, keep stuff out of sight. I built this box just so that my tools are kind of out of sight and then they're right up against the tailgate, which I can lock. So if you can lock your tailgate, keep things low and out of sight, I think that minimizes theft, but if you're in a place where people smash in windows, period, maybe you just aren't leaving anything in your truck anyway. But a hard shell kind of feels more secure. Um, even if you're camping and sleeping under it, you might feel a little bit more secure in a hard shell than you would in something soft like this. If you're in bear country, you can imagine bear versus fiberglass or bear versus canvas. I'll fill this to the brim with camping and sleeping supplies every time, and I don't, stuff doesn't shift around, it stays out of the wind. Uh, it does super well at highway speeds. I've had this thing going up to 85, 90 miles an hour before, and it, it's very, very stable. The air just flows right over it. It doesn't hardly wiggle at all. You will see the sides suck in uh, when you get going pretty fast, but the actual frame of it stays very stable, dead straight, um, doesn't wiggle at all. The visibility out the back window is okay. If you keep it clean, you can see pretty good, but you are, by the time you get to this, you've got your rear window, the soft topper rear window, and then this window, so your visibility might be limited just a little bit. For me, one of the most annoying parts of the soft topper is actually some of the visibility that these sides take away. I noticed backing out in certain parking lots um, or trying to use my mirrors to see who's behind me. These walls take out just a little bit of visibility. Um, and the rear window's you know, a little constricted by this frame even as well. So there's not quite as much visibility out the back, and depending on how your truck is set up, if you need that through the back window and then out the side or the rear view mirrors and then across the side visibility, uh, you're gonna notice that you lose some of that having the soft topper on. Um, it hasn't been a deal breaker for me yet, but it is actually one of the inconveniences that I'm not as pleased with. Uh, the parking lot visibility is a little annoying. In terms of bed space, so on a shallow bed like the one on this Tundra, I'm six foot and I can just barely sit up straight in here. It's one reason why I didn't build a bed platform because I knew I wouldn't even be able to get anywhere near sitting up straight with that. Ease of access, I'd say 
for what this product is, it's pretty easy to use. You watch me, I can roll this up, have it all you know open, just a little bit slower than you can with a hard top shell. Um, really not a big issue. It can be a little inconvenient if you're regularly accessing the back. Um, you know, zipper, pull, and Velcro every single time can feel a little bit extra work compared to a hard shell, but it's really not that much more. You can pull the tailgate down with all of this still set up. So even if you have the poles clamped in, the Velcro on, the zippers all the way down, you can very easily fold down the tailgate and slide stuff out from the back. That's not really an issue. I do that a lot. Uh, I keep stuff at you know about this height or lower and I can just slide out like my longboard, slide out a golf bag, a backpack, anything that I put back here. I usually could just take the tailgate down and slide it out which if you have a hard shell, you actually can't. You always have to take the hard shell up to get the tailgate down in my experience. So it's a slight pro right there. Now with the soft top, is it waterproof? That's, that was a big concern of mine because I do camp and I wanna sleep under this and I wanna store stuff dryly under here, especially if I have camera equipment back here that I wanna keep nice and dry. This needs to be waterproof. In my experience, the soft topper is virtually waterproof. What I mean by that, uh, I spent two nights in Washington sleeping under this. Both days it rained. I did not get wet at all sleeping in there, uh, even when it rained while I was in there. Um, and most of my stuff got kept super dry while I was in there. You will see, especially from these straps down in here, you will see some leaking from all the seams, the extra seams uh, that these straps have, just because you know the more holes you poke in that canvas and run, uh, thread through the more areas for water to penetrate. So I put a little bit of seam sealer on there after I noticed it. I haven't noticed any leaking after that, um, but that is something people run into. Um, but otherwise, most of it's waterproof. I haven't had any problems with the windows leaking, with the zippers leaking. Uh, that seems all work pretty well. The one thing I haven't really gotten to test fully with the soft topper yet is kind of the durability of it, just because I haven't had it for that long. Um, so far it hasn't faded in the sun it's held up great to wind uh, and water rain um, and i see a lot of older ones still running around i spent some time in colorado and i saw a lot of soft toppers that you could tell they had been on longer than mine but they're still uh, running and working and soft toppers nice they offer a lot of their parts individually so if you snap this piece you can buy this plastic piece individually um, the, almost the entire thing you can re-piece together. It's not like one little rip in the canvas means you have to buy the entire system um, all over again. So serviceability is very high on these um, and I think the durability is pretty good. Soft topper backs the product pretty well uh, and they're pretty easy to get a hold of. You know, a clamp bus, a bolt bus, you're not gonna be buying back into the entire system. It's just one, you know, one part at a time. Whatever breaks, you can buy it um, in the smallest unit available. They do recommend that you don't um, have this window folding in on itself in really cold weather, uh, especially below freezing. This can crack, break, uh, so that's something to be mindful of. Uh, and you know, you don't really want to break a rear window. They have mesh options for the rear windows if you have dogs or you know any kind of other uh, reason you would want mesh instead of that see-through plastic. You can do that. And now I'm going to show you guys kind of safari style on the soft topper, which is kind of fun for running around in from time to time. So there it is. That's, you know, safari style. Uh, you can drive the truck around like this without any issues with the sides open. Uh, it'll still be good at freeway speeds. Uh, they do recommend that you keep the back up if you're going to do this. Um, you don't want the back um, getting all that wind from the sides and then popping loose. Um, but totally works like this. I've got these lights in here. Uh, I can make a separate video on those later. But just a quick little rig up make it a little more homely, homey. Um, and they're battery powered or USB powered with a little remote, switch them on and off different modes. Um, and so that's how I like to keep this truck. I don't usually drive around with the sides up, but you totally can. I find when I'm camping, what I'll often do is I'll flip the back up permanently, tailgate down, and then I will roll up one of the sides so I can access camping gear 
on the side. It's kind of the alternative to like a contractor's window on a fiberglass shell, if you're used to that. The side access is nice, and um, you can see better this strap system for pulling down and leveling out um, these rails, keeping them in place. Pretty, pretty competent system with a lot of different options, a lot of different ways you can run it. And like I said, flexibility is king on this setup. You get a lot of different ways to work with it um, and modify this, work around it um, to organize your bed and uh, get more storage with that. I've really enjoyed having this. Um, I think I like the way it looks on the truck. It's kind of more of a military truck type look. The canvas is fun. Uh, the tan on silver matches totally fine. Uh, just kind of this vintage, uh, rugged truck look. Really liking it. And I've had no qualms with the way it works, um, other than some of those small details that I mentioned. It, it is more work to get this up. It is a little more um, annoying in parking spots. But if you go with the fiberglass shell, there's also downsides going that way. Um, so again, flexibility, price, it's really hard to be in on these, you know, $800 and you can take it down, fold it up, put it away, run it just about however you want. And you're buying from a good brand. I think Soft Topper is the brand to buy from. I don't see a good reason to get the best top unless you want side windows on the first generation best tops. I don't know if they currently uh, do the side windows, but the first generation best tops had side windows. Yeah, I, I found that this is a great way to increase the storage capacity of my truck, make the bed waterproof. I do think if you're going to keep stuff in the back of your bed, a soft topper keeps it more out of sight, out of mind for anybody um, looking to steal out of your truck, but it's not as secure as a lockable tonneau cover or a lockable fiberglass. Um, I don't store a lot of valuable things in here very rarely and if I do the trucks never out of my sight I don't park with valuable stuff in it um, which I think is just a good policy to have anyway but so far so good um, let me let me know if you guys have any questions leave something in the comment section uh, let me know what more you want to see about this uh, and thank you so much for watching